I was 13 when my mother decided to cut her hair off. My problem wasn't only that she was cutting it off, the problem I had was that she was leaving it natural. Curls and kinks weren't fashionable, not in my eyes and not in the eyes of the society that I lived in. Going natural to me helped me accept who I am and was a very big step in the process of learning to love myself. I was being treated like I'm doing something extraordinary, like wearing my own hair is not normal. Going natural taught me that, just like with anything else in life, if you love it, it'll grow. The first time I wore my hair natural, well, not straightened, someone told me it looks like a bush, which made me never want to go completely natural. Your natural hair is nappy. Natural hair is hard. It is crusty. It's got balls. A uh, hair relaxer is so cheap. Why are you going natural? Your natural hair doesn't make you flick. Your, Your natural, natural hair is dirty. Your natural hair is hard. It uh, is hair relaxer is Your so natural cheap. Hair is nappy. Why are you got going natural? natural? Your natural hair, hair is doesn't make you flick. Your natural hair is dirty. Uh, hair relaxer is so Your natural cheap. hair it Why doesn't you make you natural? flick. I remember my sister and I crying as my mother walked through the door after her first big chop. Short natural hair was for the boys and men. Short natural hair was for the poor, those who couldn't afford straighteners or hair relaxers. Relaxed hair symbolized professionalism. Relaxed hair meant you were beautiful. Relaxed hair set you apart from the rest. I do worry about what people think of my hair, uh, mostly because I think there's this stigma about how a woman's hair should look. So if it's not straight and silky, it should be big and poofy, but Either way, it needs to be long, can't be short. People say that it's not professional. People say that um, you don't look cool. My biggest fear about going natural was always, will my hair grow to the length that I wanted to grow to? And how will I actually look? There were times where people would be like, mm, girl, I think you need to relax your hair. And then subconsciously you realize, oh, maybe I don't look so good. One of my biggest fears in my teen years was not fitting in enough. Everything from my weight to my hair was under constant social surveillance. I wasn't confident with my natural hair. Whenever my roots started to show, the creamy crack was a constant comfort. I was dependent. I was addicted. To me, the most embarrassing thing would be for someone to see me with all the coily growth in my hair, my unsleek edges, and the bush starting to form at the base of my scalp. I sometimes worry about what people think about my hair. I wake up every day and I untwist my hair. So every night before I go to bed, I try at least to be consistent and plait my hair. So when I wake up in the morning and I unplait my hair, I always think about how when I walk out of my door, what other people will see. And I try to talk myself out of that because that indicates that I'm not entirely as comfortable as I'd like to think I am with my hair as it is. I forgot what my hair looked like. I forgot what my hair felt like. I think I even forgot who I was for a while. And then one day, I found myself sitting in a salon chair with a hairdresser behind me, scissors and clippers in his hand, asking me if I was sure. The worst thing I've heard about natural hair is that it's not, um, it doesn't look as good as a white person's hair would look. In that way, people set the status quo of good hair as straight, long hair. Um, and so it also becomes a racial thing where with the moment you think of good hair, you start to, you, you don't even look to the black body at all. And so the, 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 the comparison for me is the worst thing that you can do. Why can't we both have good hair? Why is it such an issue? Natural hair means the freedom to do anything. Natural hair is beautiful. Well, that's our crown, and we should own it. And so the journey towards self-awareness, self-exploration, and self-love is never as straightforward as you'd think. I finally cut my hair, finally had my big chop, a month after that day at the salon. And this time, I was ready. I knew exactly how I wanted my hair to look.